Hi Aquarius. Hi Leo. I hope that you are doing well. Thanks for joining for a combination reading. If you're returning back, welcome back. And listen, if you're new, my channel looks at hardcore energy, like criminal stuff, end time prophecy, things like that. The scriptures found in the tarot. I'm not a religious channel, but I do live by the word. I do keep all ten of the commandments. I love Jehovah Elohim, maker of heaven and earth. I kiss his son that walked among us in the flesh, uh, in the earth, which is the Hamashiach. Um, that's who I confess. Um, Sometimes scripture comes out real heavy, sometimes not, really don't care. Okay, the great one knows what he's talking about, and he's very profound uh, on this channel. So if you stick around, you'll just learn me as we go. I feel energy, and don't know how to explain that to you, but it's as if I'm right in the middle of it. And um, you can tell, you know, when I am having heavier energy flows, I flub up my words sometimes. I'm just trying to deal with the energy and continue to read for you all and navigate through some stuff. And as long as you are getting the gist of what's being said, uh, that's the most important thing. Okay, so get a good life if you have to. Um, so sometimes I have a hard time talking because it's just real heavy on me. These energies um, that are coming out for the house of Aquarius within these combinations have been real big. Okay, so uh, anyway, if you stay, uh, I'm glad to have you on the channel. Otherwise, thanks for checking me out if you got to go away. Let's see what's going on between... Um, Aquarius and Leo energy. Uh, you'll have a rebuke and bind and block every wicked foul dark energy, but we command for things that need to come to the surface so that they can be dealt with to be brought up um, transmuted, cast away, um, things of that nature. You'll have a, you'll have a rebuke uh, every lying tongue, deceitful, murderous, disgust, but expose it. You'll have a, for, to bring freedom to the person who needs it. Show me Aquarius and Leo, Yehovah. Thank you. Um, somebody trading something, trying to wait for their ships to come in, turning their back on something, or there's th third parties for some people. Um, somebody really analyzing something, going within, trying to fix something, or something got filthy within some matter. For some people, there, there is filthiness. For some people, there's a disguise. The hermit can represent a disguise. Um... If you are brand spanking new, this is the letter Tet in the Hebrew. It represents a snake in the basket. And so, you know, the hermit's wisdom. And a lot of times you'll see the hermit holding a snake and uh, he would know how to catch somebody. He talks out both sides of their mouth. Somebody has been um, or is or was or will be. And you need to use your intuition and taste somebody's words on uh, something that's being announced that it could be surprising. Um, this is a seducing energy in the negative. If something's filthy and somebody's got a snake in the basket, this represents I'm a disguise. I'm trying to store you down in clay. Um, so, you know, if you've got wisdom, you'll be able to taste this person's word because that's about high discernment there. Your soulmates are here as well. Businesses here with the hermit, an older person involved in something. This could be a judge, a lawyer, a doctor, just somebody of a high wisdom. That's just you calculating some things. We have a child and teenager involvement between your energy as well. Uh, some type of abandoned success or leaving or traveling could be here or to go get nine cups. There's a lot. There's there's emotional things here. Uh, there's emotional things here. Whatever whatever is here that was traded or needs to be traded or is trying to manifest within some matter to travel forward to, to get some type of a judgment put on something. Um, something's emotional. There's a lot of cups here. Let me take from this other deck and see what comes out. The letter T, person, place, or a thing, first, middle, last name, state, street name, object. The letter T is here. There's a judgment here. I've seen stuff with court and stuff like that coming out for some of y'all stuff. And, you know, if this is a judge and that is a judgment card in the Hebrew, then somebody's got some type of judgment. we got community here with the Three of Cups. Okay, we've got some type of an announcement or something like that happened. Something happened around some type of a uh, get together or drinking or whatever that has been uh, with your soulmates or just with uh, you know, people in the community. Something got filthy outside something uh, around somebody that traded within a matter. Thought they were going to get their ships to come in and manifest something, but some, something was abandoned here, or somebody needs to abandon something for some of you all, because uh, you know somebody's not who you think they are for some of you all around your connection. If you go watch them, a couple of these uh, readings, 
uh, with the Aquarian stuff. Something's huge. This is about opening up. Okay, somebody did open up, get, got a room, then something is here with the room. Okay, we deal with somebody who's haughty, and we are because somebody is not who you think they are. There's something very piercing that's went down for some of you all, got real filthy within some matter. This is somebody very arrogant, okay? Somebody's a disguise and whatever. Uh, you are dealing with somebody who's arrogant here. They like to, sh there's a show off here when that card comes up. Okay, look, look at all my beautiful peacock feathers, nobody cares. There's just nobody cares about people that have to show off and be arrogant and stupid like that. Somebody trying to um, seduce somebody. If it didn't work and they got ticked about some ordeal and walked away or something like that is here, then some, something would be here with that. But you are dealing with somebody who's haughty out here um, within a matter. Somebody got haughty because they turned their back on something, then, then so be it. But if you're going to make something right, this can be a forgiveness card. This is a I'm sorry. If that's in the upright, that's unconditional love. Then there would be something to walk forward to, uh, get nine cups and a wish fulfillment. We do have something that did not turn um, out very good in the beginning, but it is going to turn out for the better in the end of the thing. So that's positive. Uh, if that means somebody got to go to prison for something to get out of the freaking way, or that's you because of haughtiness and, and arrogance and how somebody plays uh, then that's what this is and for some of y'all there's a court trial okay that's a judge card so we can go to jail and it's going to turn out well for some situation that went down within a matter you hope you just pick up my through my hands I'm having a hard time speaking I was feeling that way with another reading that I it was really big I think it was the Aquarius and Gemini reading Show me um, Leo and Aquarius, Jehovah. Rob not the poor because he is poor. Neither oppress the afflicted in the gate. For Jehovah will plead their cause and spoil the soul of those that spoiled them. Yeah, well, something didn't start out very good, but it's going to end up good for the one who got spoiled and oppressed. And somebody else, for some people, um, because somebody been trying to catch somebody up in a net, store them down in clay. For some people, they've accomplished that stupidness. And Jehovah's going to get up and he's going to plead the cause for the upright person that puts the right judgment and using their wisdom because somebody's tasted somebody's words. And um, they're going to go jail for some of you all. Your family member is here involved in something, or you're the family member. This, you know, we got soulmates out here. Um, yes, a net. Okay, we're seeing somebody putting a net here as well. This is the snake in the basket, but we also have capturing something in a net, trying to store somebody down. So it's here. Okay, and so somebody thought it was going to turn out one way, but somebody's going to get up and do the right thing. It'll turn out better for you, and somebody else goes sit their butt down. Uh, we have a queen and a mistress so that an older person here at a queen uh, uh, age um, then we have some mistress out here specifically around some third party situation that seduces or got seduced or something happened out here it's been very much emotional out here there is freedom because somebody's going to sit the butt down and jump for some of you all that are dealing with that kind of uh, hardcore energy around some imposter that's been very piercing and oppressive and has been afflicting somebody. You hope it's going to plead the cause of the one who stands in the truth. I forgive you is here. And so again, somebody's forgiving somebody and uh, getting a wish fulfillment, putting their peacock feathers down, getting out of just the mind and being opened up to speak. Then there's an I forgive you out here. There is a pure secret love, okay, within either that's you and another the person or um, two other people and you're the outside person for some people you'll be in the upright some people you won't and however this is flowing there's a pure secret love out here and somebody's been hiding emotions about somebody okay well it's some speak because uh, Aquarius you've had that come out a couple different times on some of these readings so some, some of y'all it's time to speak about something okay whether it's with your family that there's a pure love and you know somebody's just been isolated and in, in solitude and stuff like that uh, or there is a love match around something somebody knows that there there's a love match out here and it's pure if something uh went down around some money situation because somebody got robbed we have a bank teller energy or you work for a bank or whatever that is there's a stalker that has been around somebody okay and so you always says to call up on him because the angels are here to help someone well you guys do have somebody that is not who you think they are um, it was huge. We, we got a snake in the basket. Somebody is a disguise around some of your stuff, man, and they are a stalker. 
and it ain't good. We have a co-worker energy coming out here. Something happened at a campsite and something happened at a campsite. We have a body of water here and somebody putting the net in and something like that. And it, you know, around some fishing trip or something like that. Something happened at a campsite, then so be it. We have a lot of water showing up here as well. Prostitution has been involved in some of your cases as well. Okay, so is somebody gonna go to jail for some type of prostitution situation? Then I guess so. Somebody traded something for six, took a bribe, something like that around something. I guess so. We got the room right there. Show me Aquarius and Leo. And there's a seducer out here. Um, the crossroads is here. Okay. Well, this is something that has been plotted and planned. And uh, somebody's also trying to figure out how do I escape something as well. Somebody needs to sit sit down and just listen to your intuition about some stuff because some people got danger around them. Uh, this is a final verdict card as well. And so, you know, we've got a final verdict here because that's a judge. Okay. So whatever this is, somebody's, uh, you've got a breakup for some of you all. Some type of accident could be here with this. Um, this is um, a, a real sharp cutting situation here okay so whatever the danger is or has been or was and somebody can get their justice for some stuff you got the sickle coming out here the sickle can also take us back to the eighth house and that take you back to death issues obviously somebody's been trying to catch somebody up in a net store them down in clay and some somebody's been you know oppressed in a very bad way um then some something's here somebody's gonna get a verdict on them they ain't going to get away with the stuff. They're going to sit their butt down in jail for what they did. There's the snake right there. Yes, and there's a snake in the basket. Somebody's a liar. They're a deceiver. This is a seducer. This is a seducer. Okay? Somebody's filthy out here in something that's went down. Uh, we have the J and the Q and the T out here. Okay, something about a quick trip or something happened at a gas station. Something could be, you know, um, just in general a gas station just to bring that in. Or uh, somebody might say, hey, cutie, and something like that could also be here. They may use that, that kind of a word for the QT. Um, you know, whatever that is. Uh, the name Jack is here. Or Jacks are here. Um, uh, a jet, uh, the phonics of a jet, so traveling is also here, so whatever that is for you. Uh, we have fishy communication around some stuff. Somebody really needs to pay attention to somebody's word because of the snake. Okay, this is a person that will say whatever they want to say. I'm a trick, I'm a trap, I'm a nasty, disgusting, wicked hypocrisy, and all of that. And I'm, I'm, I'm deceptive. And somebody is very deceptive here. They listen to a snake, man. There's the stars. Something's guided within some matter, especially when Jehovah's going to get up here and he's going to spoil the one who spoiled somebody else within a matter. Let me take your uh, rune. And uh, go on. If you are dealing with somebody's in the spotlight, could be. The stars could go back to that. That's about using your intuition in this deck as well. What else do you want to bring out, please? We have the letter F. This is the Fihu, which is livestock. And I already had some. Uh, energy come out for you, Aquarius, uh, where somebody may have, you know, live on a farm or something about country life would be there then with that. Um, so for some people that'll be prevalent. Uh, somebody has livestock, then fine, so be it. This is a uh, financial rune. We have a bank teller, so something around money is here and robbing somebody, making them poor, or you know, taking from somebody who just didn't even have much anyway and took from them even further. That's ridiculous. That's just it's ridiculous. Uh, anyway, the little letter F is here. This is about trading. Three, three of wands. Somebody traded something. Something hidden. It's going to come to the light if it hadn't already. Okay, so I uh, need to use your intuition. Somebody who they say they are. Um, this goes back to fraud issues. Okay, there's a bunch of anything that would be out here within some matter. This will come out between your energy. Good luck to you. Shalom.